Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, for this session, we will talk about oxygen therapy. So, before doing any procedure, the first thing that we have to do, we have to assess the need for that procedure. We have to check the uh, physician order if it is required, and we, to have, we have to check the uh, clan chart for baseline data and also for the uh, order for uh, giving oxygen and the uh, amount of or the flow of oxygen and method of oxygen administration that it has to be uh, given. We have to prepare our equipment and the type of mask that we need. We have uh, to prepare to see if we need if the oxygen outlet, if the uh, flow meet, if the uh, wall outlet is there, or if we have oxygen cylinder and we have to use the oxygen cylinder according to the uh, uh, method that we want to deliver with, according to the hospital situation. Most of the hospital now they are using the wall outlet, but in case if they want to uh, shift the client from room to room and if they want to shift the client to x-ray or uh, any procedure in this case they can use the uh, cylinder so cylinder it, it is almost it has to be there and we have to be familiar with the use of those type of cylinder uh, anyway we have to clean our hand before doing a procedure we have to come to our client and explain the procedure to him in order to get his cooperation and we have to assess his condition and the need for uh, the procedure that we want to do we have to introduce ourselves i am uh, your nurse today i will take care of you for today i will do this procedure so i will explain what kind of procedure that i i will do so i will do i will give oxygen therapy for you I will de deliver oxygen either by mask or by uh, nasal cannula. Uh, what's your name? I have to verify his name, but two methods by asking his name, by checking, can I check your ID band? By checking his ID band, then we will start with the procedure after washing hand. So now we will see if we are going to give by oxygen cylinder. We have to check the cylinder if it is full or so the cylinder that we use it has to be full and also we have to check the flow we have to uh, fill the uh, humidifier to the required level it should not go up more than the maximum level then we have to write the date and time Then, if we are using the symbol mask, so here we will attach the tube to the cylinder, open the oxygen to the required level, adjust it to the required level to 4 liter. Then I will adjust after checking the flow of oxygen I will adjust the uh, mask on the plant face and put that uh, band around the patient head be sure that the mask is fitted properly here this is the, the mask which is uh, I used it is with the uh, nebulizer so uh, I have to also put a piece of gauze here in order not to have an irritation and we can use also pieces of gauze uh, at the face level uh, in order to avoid irritation and we will continue with other method of giving care after finishing with that care also so after finishing with any procedure also we have to 
you move our equipment, return it back, and wash our hand and do recording. So we will continue with the other method of giving uh, oxygen. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to uh, show you how to deliver oxygen with a different type of oxygen delivery system. So first of all, before uh, giving oxygen, we have to look for the client chart and check for the need for oxygenation and oxygen therapy. Uh, we have to check the chart for the method of oxygen delivery and the how many liter per minute to be delivered for him. Also, we have to assess the real, con the real condition of the client. Is he in need for oxygen or not? We have to check for the signs and symptom of oxygen or hypoxia or hypoxemia. <clears throat> so, uh, in this case, if we said that there, there is an order or uh, the doctor order for uh, oxygen delivery, here we have to come to the client with our equipment. <clears throat> when we can, we have to introduce ourselves. Hello, how are you? I'm Yusuf Abu Khadra. I am going to give you oxygen today. Can you tell me your name? Can I see your ID band? <clears throat> so by that, we can check his name. Then we will explain to him what's the method that we are going to use for this oxygen delivery in order to have his cooperation. <clears throat> Let us start with uh, giving oxygen by simple mask. When we are going to give an oxygen with a simple mask, first we have to choose if the outlet, if it is a cylinder or wall outlet. So we have to fix the oxygen outlet here. Then to prepare the humidifier. We can use distilled water for that. We should not fill it up to the end. There is a level, maximum level, that we can fill the uh, water up to it. So, <coughs> we will fix the humidifier. Then, choose the appropriate size of the mask and tubing. We said that we are going to use the simple mask. Fix it to the outlet. Then, we have to adjust the flow of oxygen to the level which is required. Let us say that it is 4 liter per minute, so we will adjust it now. It is 4 liter per minute. We will see the bubbling is there. We have also to put a sticker here with the date and time in order to change the water. And also, we have to check the water level every now and then to see if it is low. In this case, we have to change it. We have to check that the oxygen, to feel that the oxygen is coming. <clears throat> then we will come to our client and fit the mask, the appropriate size of mask on his nose and mouth. And then this rubber goes around his head. So, by that, the oxygen mask is fixed, and here there is a metal part that we can bend it in order to fit the mouth. We can put sometimes uh, pieces of cotton or gauze here on the mask 
in order not to have an irritation and also uh, above the ear we have here we can put under that rubber band we can put a pieces of gauze in order not to have an irritation <coughs> then we have to check the uh, oxygen flow so and adjust it see the client comfort put him in a comfortable position usually for client with a respiratory uh, problem or health problem that they are in need for oxygen they want to be either in a semi uh, fowler position or sometime in a sitting, sitting position we have to <coughs> come and check every now and then the client respond to oxygenation and we can check also the oxygen saturation by oximeter for uh, those clients in order to see the level of oxygenation in their blood after that <coughs> if the client is can breathe normally without the need for oxygen then we have to take the mask out close the flow and get the mask and throw it in the The second method is by using nasal cannula. So nasal cannula, there is what we call it the pharyngeal spheres. So that will be put it inside the two nostrils. So it is the same way we have to attach, we have to fix the wall outlet or the oxygen cylinder and adjust the flow of after fixing the tubing with the flow me with the humidifier we have to adjust the level of flow of uh, oxygen to the level let us say here six liter per minute then feel the oxygen is coming yes it is coming here then we can insert the brangle here in the patient nostril it should be face upward here and we will put the around the plant head and adjust this part to fix the tubing around the plant head like this so by that we are delivering the oxygen to our client there are some masks that can give a fixed concentration of oxygen like what we call it the venturi mask the venturi mask it depends upon this valve so according to the type of the valve which is fixed to the mask it will give the concentration so this red one it will give 40 liter to 40 percent of oxygen to the client at a rate of uh, 80, uh, 8, 16 liter to uh, uh, of flow so this is the venturi mask and there are so we can change according to the needed need of the client so this one it will give 35 uh, on a flow of 8 liter per minute and this one the blue one it will give 24 percent at the flow of two liter per minute this one the red one uh, the uh, green one it give uh, 60 percent at uh, a flow of 15 uh, liter per minute 
So we can change the the, the uh, adapter according to the client need and according to the, the concentration that we want to give. And also, it is the same. We have to attach the we have to attach the uh, mask to the tubing then attach it to the wall outlet adjust the flow meter according to the level that we want so here we will adjust it to 8 liter see check and feel the oxygen oxygen is coming then fit the mask on the patient nose and mouth put the rubber band around the head we can put as we said uh, pieces of bows here and around the ear uh, in order not to have an irritation and then we will deliver the oxygen for our client we have to assess in this case we have to assess the client recurrently for signs of hypoxia and difficulty in breathing and any changes that have happened any unexpected outcome we have to we have to check also for the face uh, in order not to have any irritation or uh, any redness uh, at the side of the mask which is fixed there and, and we have we can also but as we said we can put a piece of uh, goes here in order not to decrease the pressure and to decrease the irritation of the mask and we have to uh, we can put also a pieces of goes around the ear in order to decrease the pressure of the mask so this is the venturi uh, this is the venturi mask and it is adjusted uh, we can use also a mask with a nebulizer. A mask with a nebulizer, here the difference between that nebulizer will be there. So we will put the uh, bronchodilator here in the uh, nebulizer part, and then we can, we can uh, change the mask. So by that, we are using the nebulizer mask and the drug, it will be inside, so it will be evaporated and it will be taken by the client. After the procedure, each procedure, we have to do documentation. What we have to document here, what we have to write, we have to write date and time, we have to write the oxygen delivery system, is it by a cannula or by a mask? We have to write also the uh, flow rate of oxygenation and we have to see to write any observation that we observe in our client, either expected or non expected outcome. If there is any unexpected outcome, outcome, we have to report it to our staff nurse or to the uh, physician as required so it is according to the outcome that it is coming out uh, and is there any question so if you have any inquiries just you can ask thank you